This is Autofocus, the Philippines' premier motor show. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this episode of Electronic Magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with the reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A subcompact crossover SUV from Toyota, the Veloz 1.5V CVT, and a subcompact sedan from Honda, the new City RS CVT. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two MPVs, the Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT versus Maxxis G10 Elite AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about fuel-saving devices. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro Hybrid and Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid launch as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus, and we'll be right back after this short break. You want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deal that offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16 to 19 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex November 16 to 19, your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this episode of Electronic Magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. This car review checks out the Toyota Veloz 1.5 V CVT the top-of-the-line variant of the compact MPV model spun out from the Vanza line. The Velos used to designate the premium variant of the Avanza, Toyota's battler in the local subcompact 7-seater MPV or multi-purpose vehicle segment. Last year, Toyota launched the Velos locally as a standalone model but classifying it, at least in its official website, in the subcompact crossover SUV segment, setting it apart from the lower-priced Avanzas. Toyota first rolled out the standalone Veloz in two trim levels. The 1.5G CVT now listed at 1.210 million pesos and the top-of-the-line 1.5V CVT listed at 1.25 million. Add 15,000 if you want both in platinum white pearl mica. The Toyota Veloz arrived looking a lot sharper, edgier and with a more striking and modern fashion and rear than the Avanza. Slightly longer, wider and taller too, at 4,475 mm long, 1,775 mm wide, and 1,700 mm tall, and clearing the ground by 190 mm. 
the grille and bumper design looks more trendy and resembles the look of Toyota's latest crossovers and SUVs. The front and rear skid plates, the oar fenders, roof rails, and rear spoiler are obvious tells that Toyota wants people to perceive the Velas as a proper crossover or SUV. Toyota also outfitted the Velas 1.5V CVT with sleek split-type LED headlights, LED clearance headlamps with guidelines, LED rear combination lights, LED sequential turn signal lights, LED high mounts top lamp, fog lamps front and rear, and side view mirrors that auto adjust and retract and come with puddle lamps. Other exterior features include intermittent front and rear wipers, rear window defogger, back door garnish, fin type antenna, 17 inch alloy wheels. All Vela's variants are equipped with smart entry and push button start. The seats are upholstered in sporty looking fabric and fall leather. Seats adjust manually, the drivers six ways, slide, recline, up and down. The second row seat for three slide and tumble 60-40 into what Toyota calls the long sofa mode. The third row seat for two splits 50-50 and also tumbles into the long sofa mode. The black and gray two-tone interior with metallic accents, the layout and design of the dash, center console and instrumentation make the cabin feel like a premium SUV or crossover. This feel of poshness is enhanced by the soft touch synthetic leather with white accents for the door trims. Then there's the 7-inch TFT for multi-information display. No more unsightly or intrusive brake lever as the Velos comes standard with electronic parking brake with auto hold. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather, tilts and telescopes and comes with buttons and switches for the audio, the multi-information display, and drive mode and panoramic view monitor system on the Velos 1.5 VCVT. Multiple cup and beverage holders are available for all seven Velos occupants. Adding to great comfort and convenience are power windows, power and speed sensing door locks, automatic climate control with manual controls for rear vents. Those who can't live without today's personal gadgets would love the Velos which comes standard with wireless charger, 4 USB charging ports and 2 12-volt accessory outlets. The Velos audio system comes with a 9-inch display for the 1.5V CVT and 8-inch for the lower price variants. The system features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, AM FM radio, Bluetooth, USB, and voice command. It plays through six speakers. The Velos is powered by Toyota's 2NR VE engine, the same at the top of the line of Anza. The 1496cc inline four cylinder, 16 valve DOHC engine with dual VVTi generates 106 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 138 Newton meters of torque at 4,200 RPM. Mated to a continuously variable transmission, the engine provides good pulling power whenever needed, even set to normal driving mode. Eco mode should be good for stop and go traffic. Sport mode should come in handy for going around and past slower traffic on switchbacks out of the city. The Velos rides and handles much like most subcompact crossovers with a suspension system with front McPherson struts and rear torsion beams tuned for comfort and stability. The Velos rides the usual road imperfections well and doesn't wallow around curves with a bit of speed. The electronic power steering on the Velos allows for a light hand on the wheel. The Velos brake system uses discs on all wheels ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Only the Velos 1.5 VCVT is equipped with a Toyota Safety Sense, a suite of advanced driver assist system that includes pre-collision system, automatic high beam, lane trace assistant, and lane keep assist. Also, only the top-of-the-line Velos comes with a panoramic view monitor, blind spot monitor, and rear cross-traffic alert. However, all Velos variants now available locally come standard with anti-lock brake system, vehicle stability control, hill start assist control, camera and back sonar, Toyota vehicle security system with immobilizer, indicator and alarm, emergency brake signal. Also added for safety are 3-point ELR seatbelts for all seven occupants with pretensioner and force limiter for driver and front seat passenger, seatbelt reminder, ISOFIX child restraint system, and driver and front passenger airbags, side airbags, and curtain shields. Will Toyota's decision to spin off the Velos into a standalone model in the crossover SUV segment pay off? 
we will surely find out when the sales counting is done at the end of the year. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. So, you want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deal that offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16 to 19 at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex, November 16-19. to Your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Life should be filled with stories to be liked and loved. Elevate your drive with the new Honda City. Take value and performance to the next level so you can view more places and check into new experiences. With Honda Sensing, you can do all these with peace of mind with its modern design and advanced features. The new Honda City is for those who are ready to step up their game. The new Honda City. Elevate your drive. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Isuzu Philippines Corporation has unleashed a new variant of its popular pickup, the D-MAX Limited. Designed with uniqueness and individuality in mind, the new D-MAX Limited is perfect for those seeking for an active lifestyle. Those that does not want to conform with the norm those who have an inner passion in life and would like to unleash their drive. Exclusively available in our 3-liter 4x2 LSA automatic transmission variant. The new Isuzu D-MAX Limited is already available in all Isuzu dealerships nationwide. Powered by Isuzu's 3.0-liter 4JJ3 TCX Blue Power Diesel engine, generating 190 PS and 450 Nm of torque, the D-MAX Limited comes with upgrades in the interior, exterior as well as performance features. We can see at the front, there is a massive Radiator grille with eye-catching Isuzu Red logo. So this red color is carried over to the front bumper guard, uh, making this vehicle a more distinctive and natural feel. And then on the side, you have this gray strip of body graphics all the way to the back, tail gate, adding a more premium to this uh, tried and tested uh, pickup. And then also, on top of this, we added performance function. The first is the 17 inch satin finish black uh, alloy wheels wrapped in a 265-70 R17 all terrain tires for greater traction and better handling. On top of that, we also equip this, uh, the front and rear suspension with a monotube, nitrogen charged shock absorbers, plus a rigid rear shackles, adding lift to about 260 mm of ground clearance, 
making this D-Max standing tall among the, the competition. The new Isuzu D-Max Limited is only available on the 3.0-liter 4x2 LSA AT variant in onyx black color, and it's priced at 1.580 million pesos. IPC has scheduled mall displays of the D-Max Limited in major cities across the country, including the SM Mall of Asia on October 19 to 25, SM Mega Mall on October 27 to November 2, Festival Mall Alabang on November 9 to 15, SM Clark on November 17 to 20, SM Seaside Cebu on November 23 to 26, and SM Lanang Davao on November 30 to December 6. BYD, China's biggest manufacturer of electric vehicles, invited members of media to Shenzhen for a vehicle assembly plant, its battery production facility, research and development centers, museum and other places of interest, showcasing its vision for an electric future. Members of media got to experience driving its electric vehicles, including the ATO-3, which BYD plans to bring to the Philippines. We're here in uh, Zuhai International Circuit. No? We're here for the test drive of the of uh, BYD, the BYD SEAL. And the purpose of this uh, circuit event is for our journalist friends to appreciate the driving performance of a BYD. Over the course of four days, invited members of media got exposed to BYD's mission and vision for the future. You would see the vision of the chairman and clearly the company is driven by The strength of BYD is the innovation and the technology put in into electric vehicles. They're the only one that has fully integrated the core technologies of EV. This includes not only the battery, but the motors and the vehicle controllers. We would uh, go through headquarters. We would go through the various laboratories and museums that would help us appreciate the essence of BYD brand, which is innovation and technology. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. So, you want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deals and offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16-19 to at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, DWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex November 16 to 19, your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. 
Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on head-to-head. In this edition of Head to Head, we check out the specs of two MPVs. One is the 7-seater from Hyundai, the Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT. The other is the 9-seater from Maxus, the G10 Elite Automatic Transmission. Multi-purpose vehicles now come in many capacities and dimensions, as well as powertrains, trims, and levels of driver assist and safety tech and features. This makes it great for those in the market for MPVs, those looking for the ideal people mover or ride for the family that meet need, want, and affordability. In this broad market come two options serving the needs of families looking for either a 7-seater or a 9-seater, the Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT and the 9-seater from Maxxis, the G10 Elite AT. The 2023 Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT is 4,460 mm long, 1,780 mm wide, and 1,695 mm tall. With a 2,780 mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 185 mm. The Maxxis G10 Elite AT is longer, wider, and taller at 5,168 mm long. 1,980 mm wide and 1,928 mm tall with a 3,198 mm wheelbase. The Hyundai Stargazer fascia features a thin white horizontal line or DRLs, large LED headlights integrated with turn signals, front fog lamps, black coated chrome grille. The rear is highlighted by the H signature tail lamps. The top of line Stargazer also features chrome outside door handles body color rear view mirrors that come with turn signal lights and electric folding function, a rear spoiler with high mount stop light, shark fin antenna, and two-tone 16-inch alloy wheels. The G10 features projector halogen headlights, front and rear fog lamp, LED rear combination lamps, side view mirrors that adjust electronically and have integrated turn lights, and 16-inch alloy wheels. The Stargazer 1.5 Premium comes with a smart keyless entry with push-button start as well as remote engine start function. The cabin features a lot of leatherette material for seats and trim. The leather-wrapped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and comes with buttons and switches to control the audio as well as cruise control. Providing flexible seating and cargo arrangement are the middle row seat for three that splits, double folds, and slides 60-40. The third row seat for two splits 50-50. The dash and instrument panel features a 4.2-inch Supervision TFT instrument panel and vents and rotary controls for the air conditioning system. The Maxxis G10 is a 9-seat minivan with seats upholstered in leather fabric. The driver's seat can be adjusted 10 ways electronically, the front passengers 4 ways. The sliding door opens to the rear cabin with 4 captain's chairs and a bench seat for 3. The captain's chairs slide and recline to get the most legroom and comfort for four. The rear bench seat for three reclines for comfort and tumbles. The G10 also comes with four spokes steering wheel with buttons and controls for audio and other functions. The G10 cabin features front and rear reading lights, front and rear air conditioning, driver and front passenger power windows. It also comes with a 220 volt outlet aside from the 12 volt outlet that doubles as lighter. The infotainment system on the Stargazer features an 8-inch touchscreen display, Bluetooth connectivity, voice recognition, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Audio, and four speakers plus two tweeters. A tray for wireless charging of cell phone comes with cooling function. The Maxxis G10 audio system features a 7-inch touchscreen display with USB and Bluetooth connectivity. The Stargazer is powered by the SmartStream G1.5 engine with a 1497cc displacement that generates 115 PS and 14.7 kg meter of torque mated to Hyundai's Intelligent Variable Transmission or IVT driving the front wheels. The Stargazer suspension system uses McPherson struts in front and Hyundai's CTVA or coupled torsion beam axle in the rear. Stopping power comes from 15-inch disc brakes in front and 9-inch drums in the rear. 
The G10 is powered by a 1.9-liter turbocharged CRDI diesel engine that can deliver 150 PS and 350 Nm meters of torque and meets Euro 4 emission standards. Power and torque are sent to the rear wheels via a 6-speed automatic transmission. The Maxxis G10 suspension features McPherson's struts in front and 5-link coil springs in the rear. The brake system uses discs on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. The Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium comes with nearly a full complement of Hyundai's ADAS or Advanced Driver Assistance System, including Blind Spot Collision Avoidance Assist, Rear Cross Traffic Collision Avoidance Assist, Lane Keeping Assist, Driver Attention Warning, Safe Exit Warning, Forward Collision Avoidance Assist, Lane Following Assist, Tire Pressure Monitoring System, High Beam Assist. The Stargazer is also equipped with a rear view monitor and parking distance warning. Other standard safety features include hill start assist control, electronic stability control, anti-lock braking system, manual speed limit assist, rear seat alert, dual front, side and curtain airbags, and child seat anchors. The G10 comes with standard driver assist and safety technology that includes anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and cruise control. Added for safety and security are dual airbags for driver and front seat passenger, side airbags, three-point seat belts for nine, ISOFIX south seat, and immobilizer. Parking is made easier with front and rear parking sensors and reverse camera. Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium IVT is listed on the brand's website at 1.288 million pesos. The Maxxis G10 Elite AT is listed at 1.89 million pesos. After checking out both MPVs and specs and prices, which would you rather have as your family's vehicle? Zoom UX. Take the lead. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily ride or weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice. Hello, I'm Johan Tiu from Sonax Philippines. We are at LG2 e. Rodriguez and we will be showcasing our new DIY line, the what we call the Extreme Ceramic Series from Sonax. The next one that we're gonna, we're gonna show you how to use is a ceramic ultra slick detailer. So this product is your quick solution to instantly apply a ceramic coating on your car and also instantly clean it. Give it an instant gloss, instant solution for a gloss. So this is very easy to use. So you just spray on a clean microfiber cloth then just apply it on the body of your car. Oh, but make sure your car is also clean and doesn't have any dirt. So after applying, spray some water so you can see the water beading hydrophobic effect instantly. So this product can give you a ceramic coating that could last you around 8 to 16 car washes. So there you go. So that's how easy it is to apply the Extreme Ceramic Series from Sonax. For more information, you can visit our FB page, which is Sonax Page Official. 
our IG page, which is also Sonax PH Official, and TikTok page, which is also Sonax PH Official. So it's very easy to find us. Thank you. Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Mastery in motion. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. So, you want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deal that offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16-19 to at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex, November 16-19. to Your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Cherry Auto Philippines is looking to enlarge its footprint in the local automotive market with the introduction of more hybrid models. This special feature showcases highlights of the local launch of the Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid and the Tigo 7 Pro Hybrid. Right now we're at the City of Dreams and uh, Cherry actually uh, made a brand relaunch and at the same time we were able to launch the new model which is the Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid. This is actually the first time that we were able to do a major event for Cherry. Also a good timing no? when I entered this organization uh, last May, so I made a point to, to already re-strategize the overall marketing activities of uh, the Cherry Auto brand. First, the Tigo 5X Pro is a major upgrade of the uh, previous Tigo 5X. And right now, as, as you can see, you know, visually, uh, it supports new visual identity of the Pro Series of the other Tigo, Tigo models like Tigo 2, uh, Tigo 7, and Tigo 8. So visually, the uh, exterior became uh, more exciting. And uh, as far as the performance is concerned, it now supports a new engine, wherein the engine is now uh, complemented with a turbo charger. And at the same time, we have 48 volt mild hybrid motor, which uh, complements you know, this turbo charger to be able to supplement the overall power. But at the same time, uh, granting uh, or providing fuel efficiency. Right now, the Tigo 5X Pro Hybrid is priced around 1140 The basic with internal combustion engine is only at 940000 pesos. Depending on the buyer, he has an option whether he needs really a mild hybrid or just the internal combustion engine. Now, the Tigo 7 is also has that complement of uh, just internal combustion and uh, mild hybrid. The internal combustion is priced at 1250 while the mild hybrid version is 100,000 higher, which is 1,350,000.
whereas the Tigo 8, uh, of course the Tigo 8, we have also just the internal combustion engine. It's priced around uh, 1598 And the uh, Tigo 8 plug-in hybrid electric vehicle is priced at 2698 very glad to actually invite all the uh, those who are watching and I uh, would like to invite everyone to check out Cherry you know, and uh, be able to see the uh, new offerings. Uh, of course, right now we launched the Tigo 5 x series, both internal combustion and with internal combustion engine plus the mild hybrid electric vehicle and also the Tigo 7 uh, Pro. And uh, better yet, when you go to the Cherry dealer, you should be able to also test drive no? and uh, see the difference and feel the difference right? uh, for yourself. No? And uh, of course, check out the, the features that uh, each retail has. No? I'm sure one of them will actually suit your uh, lifestyle. There seems to be less reticence to acquire hybrid vehicles as more and more affordable models are being offered in the local market. Automakers and auto distributors are taking advantage of the trend. Perhaps being exempted from so-called coding helped. You want a new car but don't know what model you like? You want a new car but don't know who'll give you the best deals and offers? And before you can make a final choice, you'll need to book a few test drives and visit so many dealers and showrooms. For all these, save yourself the time and effort. Just go to one convenient venue. The Autofocus Free Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex on November 16-19 to at the SM Mall of Asia Concert Grounds. Take your pick from sedans, SUVs, sports cars, multi-purpose vehicles, vans and pickups, even hybrids and electric vehicles. Sangen, Ford, GAC, GWM, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Subaru, Suzuki, and Toyota will be there to show you what they have and let you test drive their models. The Autofocus Free Christmas Test Drive Festival presented by Caltex in cooperation with SM Offices and the SM Mall of Asia Complex November 16 to 19, your one-stop shop for all the latest models. No need to go anywhere else to get the car you want or need. See you there! Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. When Honda first rolled out the city, it was billed as the affordable Honda and was an immediate hit in the local market maybe for that reason. The city is no longer the most affordable Honda locally. That distinction now belongs to the Brio. Honda has taken to using Elevate as the catchword to describe the latest refresh of the current generation of the city. Elevated design, style, sustainability, driving confidence, space and innovation as well as value. But sleek, sporty, and elegant can also describe the refreshed city that looks longer, wider, and lower than its dimension. 4,580 millimeters long, or 4,589 millimeters for this RS variant, 1,748 millimeters wide, 1,467 millimeters at its highest point, and 134 millimeters off the ground. The 2,600 millimeter long wheelbase pushes the wheels to the corners of the city adding to the sporty character of the city and perhaps to its performance on the road. The top of line variant is the Honda City RS CVT with RS for road sailing design touches to set it apart from its sibs. 
These RS touches include a high-gloss black grille with a RS emblem matching the high-gloss black door mirror with integrated side turn signal lights, trunk spoiler, and shark fin antenna. Other distinguishing City RS features include full LED headlights, LED fog lamp with sport garnish, sport front and rear bumpers, side sail garnish and 16-inch black cut alloy wheels wrapped by 185 55R1687H tires. Other features the RS variant shares either with just the 1.5V CVT or the rest of the city lineup include headlight auto on-off function with timer, LED guide type daytime running lights, LED taillights and high mount stop lamp, power folding and adjustable side mirrors, and single exhaust pipe. Honda touts that it elevated the cabin and creature comfort features of the refreshed city. Does Honda accomplish this in the City RS? A smart keyless entry system makes it quite convenient to get into the cabin of the refreshed City RS. A black and red color scheme distinguishes the RS from its sibs. Red is used for the RS stitches on trims and the front paddle garnish. Only the RS gets leather treatment for the seats and the front center console box with armrest. The three-spoke steering wheel also wrapped in leather tilts and telescopes and comes with multiple buttons and controls for such things as the audio and hands-free telephone with voice recognition, multi-information display, adaptive cruise control, lane-keeping assist controls. Other interior features exclusive to the RS include a 4.2-inch full-color TFT meter with red ambient light and the instrument cluster, rear seat armrest with cup holder, and sport pedals. Standard in the city are day and night rear view mirrors, power windows, one push start system, map, dome and trunk lights, coin and card holders, windshield defoggers. The 1.5 RS as well as the 1.5 V comes with automatic air conditioning with rotary knobs and digital display and illumination and rear vents. The RS City also gets two USB charging ports, front and rear accessory sockets, the RS City audio system features an 8-inch touchscreen and comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Weblink, Bluetooth, USB port, four speakers, and tweeters. Underneath the hood of the refreshed city is a 1498cc inline four-cylinder DOHC engine that generates 121 PS and 145 Nm of torque. All that power and torque is sent to the front wheels via a continuously variable transmission. It's a rev-happy and responsive engine that makes the city fun to drive, especially the RS which has paddle shifters to give drivers some control over gear shifts but it's also a fuel-efficient powertrain capable of making the city go 22.2 kilometers based on UNR 101 test results. Even a short spin of the Honda City RS CVT shows that it offers the best of both worlds, a comfortable leisurely ride and stable responsive handling at higher speeds. For those who want to know, the city suspension uses a combination of front McPherson struts and torsion beams in the rear. The brakes feature a front ventilated disc and rear drums combo. Honda elevated the bar for safety in subcompact sedans with the city. Standard in all variants are speed sensing door locks, front and side airbags, three point ELR seat belts for five, seat belt reminders for driver and front seat passenger, child safety lock, ISO fixed child seat anchor, emergency stop signal, security alarm and immobilizer, and rear seat reminder something that prompts the driver to check the rear seat for passengers or other stuff before leaving the car. Also standard are anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability assist, hill start assist, and agile handling assist. Add to the RS walk-away auto door locks, curtain airbags, and reverse camera. Still, what really elevates the refreshed city is Honda Sensing. All variants of the RS down to the entry-level 1.5 ECVT now have Honda Sensing. It's still not the full suite of functions, but all the city variants now have adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking system, lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation, lane departure warning, auto high beam, and lead car departure notification. 
Honda says that also helping elevate the ownership experience of the city is that owners only need to make twice a year periodic maintenance visits. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we will be talking about fuel saving devices. Whether they work, or do they, or do they not? For as long as there have been gasoline engines, and fuel that goes into our cars, there will always be people who will try to sell you fuel-saving devices. Now, the hallmark of these things are like the pyramid scheme. More power, better efficiency, better mileage. Sometimes they attach a number to it, up to 30%. And if they're really great, up to 50%. Then this is the latest in the long line of them. This is the killer power box. This has been making the rounds of the various car clubs and as with every fuel-saving device, the claims are always like this. More power, very satisfied customer feedback, less usok. Okay, let's put it in the test, shall we? As with any claims of better power tests, we always put the car on the dyno because it's very simple. The machine doesn't lie. It cannot lie even if we wanted it to. We've actually seen a number of these things over the years that we've been doing. DOST and DOE actually certify us to do the benchmark testing for anybody who wants to market these things and wants to get a certification from them. So we're going to put this killer power box, install it on the engine, put it on the dyno and see that if it really does make power. And let's set the bar kind of low. We're happy with 10 horses. <laughs> doesn't need to be 30 horses, doesn't need to be 50. 10 horses will do fine. <laughs> Absolutely no gain. <laughs> Voila. Zero gain. <laughs> Absolutely none. <laughs> we'll do it one more time. Just to make sure and nobody can say anything. Yep, absolutely no gain whatsoever. <laughs> if you want to think about it, it's actually a slight power drop of about four horses. You will run into these kinds of devices on your Facebook feed, on your car groups, on your friends who will tell you that there's this latest power saving device. It's very simple. If they promise horsepower in double digit gains, fuel economy savings in also double digit gains, it is not true, don't even bother thinking twice, and then it is too cheap and too good to be true. It's definitely not true, so don't even bother wasting and asking, hey, does this work or not, and all of that. No, it's not. There might even, I've also seen some videos where they have some slick backstory about two college engineering students who were sued by the oil companies because their device saved fuel and all of that and the oil companies want to keep it buried. That's also not true and it's a 100% scam. Fuel saving device? Definitely not. There's only one place this belongs to and it's not your engine. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. 
taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's all the focus this week. We hope you have found this episode of Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.